a camera for $15. How about a wedding dress for $30? If you've ever shopped online, you've probably come across Timu. It's everywhere and it's dirt cheap. But some warn buying from the Chinese website could come at a cost. I love Timo. They have everything you could ever need. It's the online dollar store that has everyone talking. So excited! Timu. Timu is one of the fastest growing online stores in the country. I love Timu. 1.2 million Aussies are shopping online with the Chinese giant every month. But how safe is it? Those people shopping need to shop with caution. No. Timu launched in Australia in March last year and quickly became the most downloaded app in the App Store, offering everyday products from prices as low as 48 cents. No. Michelle Levine is CEO of Roy Morgan Research, which recently polled shoppers about the platform and found Timu is bringing in an estimated $1.3 billion a year from Australians. Oh, look, it's not as large as, say, Amazon or as large as some of the, um, the you know, the well-known brands. But Michelle believes with prices so cheap, it raises more questions. These brands are a threat not only to the deep discount stores, but they're actually a threat across the board. But shoppers like Jacob Lucas aren't fussed. I just needed to kind of deck out my new house and I wanted to do it as cheaply and cost effective as I possibly could. I've got plushies. The $500 order the university student made fitted out his new home. This rug that I have in my living room cost me about $50, but it's kind of a knockoff of a designer brand where it retails for about two and a half grand. Mum Tracy Carter says she's an avid Timu shopper. Her latest parcel arriving today. It's a short set. It's a bit like a kimono top, it's quite long, with the shorts to match. For $110 at our local shopping centre, and I wanted some more. She's since gone back time and time again to buy more. Nowadays, the cost of living and all your bills, you don't have much money left over, so most families can afford to buy from Timu. But that has Australian retailers nervous. When they make a bad purchase, Paul Zara is the CEO of the Australian Retailers Association. Well, the big concern, of course, with Team is we don't know a lot about them. They're faceless, it's coming out of China. They have also accusations of modern slavery, of unethical practices, issues around sustainability. This is a terrible company with really sketchy business dealings that brutally mistreats its workers. In the US, officials have raised concerns over the platform's ethics, with some lawmakers even calling for a ban on Timu imports. Consumers don't, all things being equal, want to purchase goods that are contaminated by sl slave labour or forced labour. But so far, the website is charging ahead with its game-like lures, tempting shoppers to spin a wheel for discounts and free shipping. So we decided to test Timu, ordering a series of items from clothing, electronic goods and kids' toys. So it's taken just over a week for our order to arrive in two different parcels that came over two days. So let's see what's inside. Everything we ordered arrived, but there were some differences. We ordered a size 10, and I can tell you they are definitely not a size 10. <laughs> Probably an eight. All the electronic items we bought worked, but the clothing was another story. The leather jacket on Timu used photos from another brand, which sells for $240. It smells rotten. Ours, just $31. I don't want to be near a candle, that's for sure. As for the wedding dress we purchased, Timu again used photos from another brand, which retails for $3,500. This dress, just $30.99. <laughs> How does it feel? It certainly doesn't feel like a wedding dress. It feels like a costume. It's not too bad. It's not great. Are you saying yes to the dress? I'm definitely not saying yes to the dress. The prices are cheap, but at what cost? With many now asking, what's the catch? It might be that they are actually collecting a lot of information about people, which becomes its own marketplace. Download the Tamu app and shop like a billionaire.
and in a statement Timu denies any accusations of slavery or forced labour. It also says estimates of how much money it's losing are way off base.